Hi everyone, I'm Asma Nurse Educator. I'm going to share with you a little bit about asthma. What is asthma? Asthma is a chronic airway inflammation affecting the airways that carries air in and out of the lungs. It affects people of all ages. Asthma cannot be cured, but it can be controlled. This is an airway in a normal person. And this is an airway in a person with asthma. As you can see, the wall is inflamed. Inflammation and narrowing of the airways leads to recognizable symptoms such as wheezing, shortness of breath, coughing and chest tightness. If you have asthma, it is important for you to learn and know what wasn't your asthma. Keep an eye on these common triggers as by knowing your asthma triggers can keep your asthma controlled. Usually, your doctor will prescribe you with inhaler that provide control alongside immediate relief. Do you know what are the differences between these inhalers? Controller inhaler. Tackle the underlying cause of asthma by reducing inflammation and keeping the airways open. Reliever inhalers. Provides immediate relief from the symptoms of asthma. It is important for you to adhere to a controller inhaler prescription as this can protect you from asthma attacks by treating the underlying inflammation. Are you over-reliant on your reliever inhaler? If you are using your reliever inhaler more than two times a week could be a sign of poor control. If you are using more than two reliever inhalers per year, it's associated with an increased risk of asthma attacks. Keep a check on your reliever inhaler use could help prevent asthma attacks. Visit Asthma Malaysia to take the reliever reliant test now to know if you are over reliant on your reliever inhaler. Monitoring your asthma on a regular basis is important to keep your asthma control. One of the ways is to do this with a peak flow meter. Peak flow meter is a handheld device that shows how well air moves out from your lungs. Measuring your peak flow can tell you how well your asthma is controlled. Do your peak flow at least twice a day for 2-3 to three weeks. When you first wake up in the morning and either in the late afternoon or early evening. 15 to 20 minutes after you take your reliever or at any other time your doctor suggests. Follow your asthma action plan as per your doctor's advice as different patients might have different asthma action plan. Adhere to the prescribed therapy and follow the asthma action plan can save your life. Test your asthma control with these questions. Do you have daytime symptoms? For example, wheezing? shortness of breath or coughing or chest tightness more than twice a week? Do you have your symptoms disturb your sleep? You wake up due to wheezing, shortness of breath or coughing? Do you need to use your reliever inhaler more than twice a week? Do your asthma symptoms prevent you from performing your daily activities? If you answer yes to any of the above questions, please speak to your treating doctor, nurse or pharmacist now. Now we are going to walk you through on how to use the Simbicot Table Haler. Please pay attention to the video. Welcome to the quick guide of your new Symbicord Turbuhaler. Turbuhaler has been designed specifically for the optimal delivery of inhalation therapies to the lungs. Every time you need to take an inhalation, it's a simple two-step process after unscrewing the cover. Unscrew the cover and lift it off. Hold your Simbicord Turbuhaler upright with the red grip at the bottom. 
Step 1. Twist and twist back. To lower the dose, twist the red grip as far as it will go in one direction and then twist it back as far as it will go in the other direction until you hear a click. If it's the first time you use your new turbuhaler, repeat the previous step again, twisting the red grip twice in both directions. Your Symbicord turbuhaler is now ready to use. Hold your Symbicord turbuhaler away from your mouth. Breathe out gently. Do not breathe out through your turbuhaler. Step 2. Breathe in. Place turbuhaler mouthpiece gently between your teeth. Close your lips. Breathe in as deeply and as hard as you can through your mouth. Do not chew or bite on the mouthpiece. Remove the inhaler from your mouth and breathe out gently. Repeat steps 1 and 2 if a second dose is needed. You may not be able to taste any medicine after inhalation due to the small amount of medicine inhaled per dose. After your daily doses, first replace the cover and then rinse your mouth with water and spit it out. Also, wipe the outside of the mouthpiece once a week with a dry tissue. Do not use water or liquid. You should also know that the dose indicator tells you how many doses are left. It is marked in intervals of 10 doses for the 60 and the 120 doses inhalers and in intervals of 15 doses for the 30 doses inhaler. Therefore, the dose indicator does not show every dose. You will be able to see a red mark on the window when approximately 20 doses are left. If you load your turbuhaler more than once, the indicator will register it, but you'll only receive one dose when inhaling. The grip still twists and clicks when the device is empty, and the sound you hear when it's shaked is produced by a drying agent, not by the medicine. Now you are ready to use your inhaler. If you have any further questions on the use of this product, Please inspect carefully the instructions from the patient information leaflet found in the package or ask your physician or pharmacist. Important note for you, clean the device with dry cloth, follow your doctor's prescription, always bring your medication along with you. Seek for medical assistance if there's any unusual sign and symptoms. The educational session has come to the end. If you have any question, feel free to reach out to our medical colleagues. Thank you.